Welcome to Muddy Sunday. The Three Peaks Challenge is a 25-mile walk taking in the three mountains. Penny Ghent, the baby, at 694 metres, that's 2,277 feet. Wernside, which is the highest at 736 metres, that's 2,414 feet. And Ingleborough, 724 metres, 2,375 feet. Before you leave home, make sure you have your rucksack of choice, maybe a hat, some food and some water, perhaps a couple of litres, maybe more. The dog is optional. Other necessities are suitable trousers, which probably means not jeans, and something for the rain. The walk begins and ends at Horton in Ribblesdale. The challenge is to complete it in less than 12 hours. If you do, then you can join the Three Peaks Club. So, make sure you have decent footwear, such as walking boots, strong trainers, or similar. Ideally, they should be a bit big for you so that you can wear a thin pair and a thick pair of socks. And you should have at least one spare double pair of socks to change along the way. So, I'm Peter. And this is my daughter Violetta <laughs> and we're just about to do the three peaks so before you set off you need to tell the cafe, Penigan Cafe here that you're about to do it because that way they, for safety reasons, they know where you are and also uh, there's proof of the time that you set off in case you want to be a member of the club. So we're setting off at 7.30, it's just about 7.30 now, so I'll put it in the letterbox because obviously it's not open yet. Okay, and off we go. Walk along the road for a couple of minutes. Turn left into the field just before the church. Go through the gate at the other end and turn left. Violetta. Turn right over the footbridge. and then left again and go along the road for a few minutes. <laughs> this area is known as Bracken Bottom. It's a pretty decent view already. There's Penny Ghent enshrouded with cloud. The walk is fairly easy for much of the way. It's pretty steep from now on to the top. 
The camera is still working. The first trig point and the top of Penny Ghent. Right, the time is it's 25 to 8 to 9. The descent from Penny Ghent. Windy, but now just under the cloud level. That's Hull Pot. People of a more nervous disposition can go along that path to the left of it and then turn right. But those of us made of sterner stuff go straight on. And down past the dreaded bogs. There's Penny Ghent from the other side. This is an action replay of Lyndon who did really get stuck in the bog up to his middle a few seconds before. Uh, that's two of us. <laughs> Yay! We made it! Which is more than can be said for this poor fellow. The long march to the Ribblehead Viaduct. This Rialto-esque wooden bridge leads us past the building which is called Nether Lodge. This next bridge, perhaps a mile further on along the track, not quite so quaint, crosses the River Ribble. This is just past Lodge Hall otherwise known as Ingman Lodge. Five minutes from Horton, so that's not too bad. So Wernside is over there where the clouds are. Okay, that's where we headed in about ten minutes time. That's Joe doing his feet. Say hello Joe. Alright. And if you look right over there, that's, you can't really see it very well, Penny Ghent. There it is. That's where we've just been. And don't forget to come out with some plasters in case of blisters. And if your muscles are knackered, then you can use some of this stuff. <laughs> 